Hey guys, welcome back to Takoyaki Japanese History class. In this video, I'm going to talk about the Asuka period in the Japanese history from 538 to 710. If you haven't checked videos of Jomo, Yayoi, and the Kohon period, please check them out from the description down below. Okay, so let's get started. In this lecture, you're going to learn about a very important figure in Japanese history. Almost all of Japanese people know him. He is called Prince Shotoku, Shotoku Taishi in Japanese. He is also called Prince Umayato, Umayato no Oji in Japanese, since he was born in front of stable. He is so important in Japanese history, so remembering him is your goal for today. Okay, so let's get into the detail. In 427, Kokuri, which was the biggest country in the Korean Peninsula at that time, transferred the capital from Ganto to Heijo and advanced southward. Kudara and Shiragi, the two countries in the south of the Korean Peninsula, were against this movement. In 475, Kokuri attacked Kudara and cornered the country to the brink of collapse. Despite that, Kudara regained its national strength and advanced southward to the other small country, Kara. Shiragi also advanced to the country and occupied the main part of Kara countries in 562. Yamato regime used to be in close relations with this area, but after the sequence of events, the power of Yamato regime in the area declined. Being influenced by those changes in the Korean Peninsula, the Japanese government started trying to organize the political system. At first, however, there was a big conflict between two political groups. The Soga and the Mononobe clans argued over the introduction of Buddhism, but the Soga clan won the argument. After this conflict, the Imperial Court of Japan was organized. In Japanese, it's called Chotei and the Soga clan increased their political influence by having marital relations with the royal family. Particularly, a member of the Soga clan, Soga no Umako, had a big power at that time. He killed Mononobe no Moriya, and the Emperor Sushun was assassinated by his plot. In the same age, the situation changed in China. In 598, the Sui dynasty unified China for the first time in about 270 years. The Sui dynasty expanded its influence over the Korean Peninsula. The emergence of Sui dynasty marked a new stage in the order of international society in East Asia. After the Emperor Sushun was assassinated, the Emperor Suiko, who was supported by the Soga clan, was enthroned. The Prince Umayado, who was a cousin to the Emperor Suiko, supported her. He is also called the Prince Shotoku, Shotoku Taishi in Japanese. As I said, he is one of the most famous figures in Japanese history, so make sure to remember him. The Prince Umayado cooperated with the most powerful person, Soga no Umako, to reform the political system. The Prince Umayado and Soga no Umako established 12 court ranks to distinguish superior officials by 12 colors of their caps, which is called Kan Iju Nikai in Japanese. They intended to reform the old system of clans and hereditary titles. In the next year, in 604, the Prince Umayado issued 70 article constitution, code of moral precepts for the ruling class, which is called Kenpo Juichijo in Japanese, Kai Junikai, 12 court runs, and Kenpo Juichijo, the 70 article constitution. These two words are very, very important. So, make sure to remember them. Speaking of his foreign policy, in 607, the Prince Umayado sent Imoko Ono as an envoy to the Sui dynasty and sent a diplomatic message to the Sui emperor with the wording, The emperor in the land of the rising sun sends a letter to the emperor in the land of the setting sun. He is the tokoro no tenshi. Shou he is the tokoro no tenshi ni itasu. In Japanese. The message made the Emperor Yodai angry and he said to Koroke, a diplomat, If another loot letter comes from the barbarian, do not bring it to me. The Emperor Yodai became angry because the King of Wa, which is another way of calling Japan, called himself the Emperor. 
not because of the use of the terms the land of rising sun and the land of setting sun. Okay, so now I'm gonna talk about Japanese culture in the Asuka period. The culture is called Asuka culture, Asuka bunka in Japanese. It was a period when the Buddhist culture that was introduced to Japan blossomed fully. As a replacement for coffin, which is Chunmiri, powerful clans constructed Buddhist temples called clan temples, Uchidera in Japanese. Asuka Dera Temple by the Soga clan and Ikaruga Dera Temple by the Prince Umayado are most famous. Asuka Dera Temple is also called Hokoji Temple and Ikaruga Dera Temple is also called Horyuji Temple. When you come to Japan, go see those temples in Nara. It is so beautiful, I strongly recommend it. Okay, so let's go through what we learned real quick. Who was the most important figure in this lecture? Okay, that's right, the Prince Umayado. Umayado no Oji in Japanese, or you can call him Prince Shotoku or Shotoku Taishi in Japanese. So what did he do? Yeah, that's right. He established 12 court ranks called Kanhi Junikai and issued 70 article constitution called Kenpo Ju Shichijo. Okay, that's all for today. In this channel, you can learn Japanese language, culture, and history. So if you're interested in Japan, please subscribe to my channel. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Bye.